let's discuss a few things about child eye health and myopia in children today. Myopia essentially refers to short-sightedness. Short-sightedness means the child is able to see at near very clearly and not able to see at distance. So this myopia is most commonly seen in childhood and keeps progressing till the teenage or sometimes till the age of 21 years. As in when the child grows, the eye of the child also grows and that's the essential reason why the numbers keep progressing or the myopia keeps progressing in children. There are various factors which uh, determine this rate of progression in children. Some of them are non-modifiable, like the genetic factors uh, which cannot be modified, which control the rate of progression in children. And there are a set of environmental influences or modifiable risk factors, which also play an equally important role in the progression of myopia. In the last one and a half years, most of us are stuck at home. So also are the children. And the schools have become online, increasing the amount of uh, time that the child spends online or in front of the screens thus leading on to an increased risk factor or increase in the newer activity, which is in turn a risk factor for rate of progression of myopia. The various risk factors for myopia include, as I was mentioning, decrease in the physical activity, staying indoors most of the time, near activities, all of them are known to be risk factors for myopia progression. When we talk of near activity, it does not mean only the gadgets, it also means the book time. Anything that the child does at near constantly for a long duration of time is a near activity and that is in turn linked to the rate of progression of myopia. So since we know the risk factors, let's also look at how do we modify them so that the child's rate of progression of myopia is much, much lesser or falls within the normal range of rate of progression in children. First and foremostly, increase the amount of time that the child spends outdoors, especially increases sunlight exposure. So sunlight exposure has to be one and a half an hour. So 90 to 120 minutes in a day of sunlight exposure is important for children. And this is known to be uh, one of the important factors in terms of modifying or controlling the rate of progression of myopia. And this could be on the balcony, in the terrace, uh, where the child could do any kind of activity, any kind of a physical activity, spend, uh, do a walking or anything in the morning, which will increase the sunlight exposure for the child. Second, most importantly, increase the physical activity for the child, which also reduces the rate of progression of myopia. Third and most important thing being in decreasing the near activity for the child. Since the online classes are a norm and go, are going to continue for a considerable amount of time, probably. So we'll have to look at how do we make those online classes more safer for the uh, child's eye. So first and foremostly, avoid using tablets or phones to attend the online classes, probably use a laptop which can be projected onto a desktop monitor where the child can sit at a distance of one and a half to two meters away attending the online classes. This increases the distance through at which the child is watching the online classes and thus it does not become a near activity and thus re reducing the rate of progression of myopia. Wherever possible or whosoever house it's possible, put the online classes on a smart TV and the child watches from a really far away distance and thus controlling the uh, number of hours, which becomes a near activity. Second, most importantly, um, whatever other hobbies that the child has, let it not be a near activity. Let the child not have reading as the only hobby. Let it develop more outdoor hobbies, which reduce the rate of progression. Because reading, again, constitutes a near activity, which, um, which again, in turn, leads to increase in the rate of progression of myopia. So the child can switch on to audiobooks or the parents can spend quality time with the child reading the books to them rather than the child reading themselves. All of them curtail the near, number of hours in the near activity and thus reducing the rate of progression of numbers. Further, it is very important to follow the 20-20-20 rule, meaning after 20 minutes of near activity, the child takes a break of 20 seconds where the child closes the eye. The next 20 seconds looks at something far away in terms of opening the window and staring at a distance and then getting back to activity. This 20-20-20 rule helps in maintaining the eye health of the child, especially with the online classes. Uh, 
So this, all this becomes very important, increasing the sunlight exposure, increasing the physical activity, decreasing the near activity for the child as much as possible and having a balanced activity for the child uh, every day becomes very important in controlling the rate of progression of myopia. Thank you. Stay safe.